Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Former Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kim Zolciak and her estranged husband, Croy Bierman, are still residing in the house that's under foreclosure. Allegedly, Bierman violated a court order by crossing into Zolciak's side and taking some of her belongings, prompting her to involve law enforcement. Financial challenges have persisted for the RHOA couple, predating their divorce proceedings. For a start, the Real Housewives of Atlanta stars owed the IRS over $1 million. Reconciling didn't work, so they now battle with money and tension in the home. Like Rachel Lindsay and Brian Aasolo, they share a home during their toxic split. Kim Zolciak is convinced that their relationship is over and compared it to a RIP situation. However, there doesn't seem to be much resting or peace in the house. TMZ reported multiple instances where the Bravo star called the police, including incidents in April and January, alleging that Croy Bierman took belongings from her side of the house. During one encounter, Zolciak claimed Bierman took her phone, but when the police spoke to him, he denied any knowledge of its whereabouts. Despite Zolciak's inability to produce a court order mandating Bierman to stay on his side of the home, as he hadn't committed any offense, the officers couldn't take action. When the news arrived on X, formerly Twitter, RHLA fans were not all that sympathetic towards the Bravo star. Here are some of their thoughts. They need to separate for good, this is tiring. What a total devastee of police department resources. Recently, she announced their reunion. Without her phone, she wouldn't have been able to report any incident this time. This behavior is immature, embarrassing, and a misuse of police resources. Both parties should be held accountable, and the police should refrain from responding to such calls. There are more pressing matters requiring their attention. She should reflect on her actions. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe my channel to get update news.